Hey, back again. We're with uh, Technique Tuesday, another episode. So as I get uh, build up my, my cleaner jerk uh, snatch, I'm squatting pretty much every day, Monday through Saturday. Uh, very uh, variation on the weight, I'm going triples, doubles, singles. Right now I feel good, so I'm working up to a heavy single in both uh, the front squat and back squat. I'm rotating those front squat, front squat one day, back squat the next. Um, I'm also adding in a couple double days or maybe one double day a week where I squat twice. One thing that's helped me tremendously as I get to bigger weights for the snatch cleaner jerk um, are banded, um, banded front squats or banded um, back squats. So head over here. So I thought I was done. I thought I was done, but these have helped me so much and you get so much out of them um, that I wanted to share this with you guys. So we're gonna head over here, here go. Right here. So this is this is an overload squat. The bands are gonna help. They're gonna help me get me up just a little bit um, off the bottom of the squat right here. So they're gonna help me just enough to get up. But the weight gets heavier and heavier. So I still have to strain, I still have to keep tense in my abs. I gotta make sure my, my hips don't push out. So right here, what this does is it allows you to lift, allows you to lift heavy weights. It allows you to strain, but it allows you to strain in the right position. So right here, squat, squat, squat. I know if I get past this certain point and I stay tight, I'm gonna get more reps in a stronger, more stable position. But also then when I go back to the snatch cleaner jerk or uh, regular front squats, my body's gonna feel, the weights, the weights that I handle are gonna feel routine. My heavier percentages are gonna feel routine. So what this does is it allows you to hit weights, heavy weights on a regular basis. Um, I probably would do bands for like two, two more weeks or one more week. I have this is my third week of doing bands. So it's probably the last week of throwing in bands and then I'll mix in something else. But variation is key. I know what I know what works for me, and I know that these right here, you can put these bands on a beginner. You put these bands on a beginner, and they're gonna feel, they're gonna be able to maintain that squat form and stay tight all the way throughout the lift, rather than not using bands and going for one rep max. Um, so they get to feel heavy weights in the right positions, and it's a huge difference because then they they learn the tempo of the squat, they know how to stay tight. Um, going down and then coming back up from the squat. A lot of people shoot their, their hips out on a front heavy front squat, um, but what this does is it allows you to stay tight in the right positions. So I'll go ahead and do a demo. I'm gonna go uh, back squat and then, I'll go front squat and then a back squat right here. So this is about three, let me see, 365, 385 right here. So I'll go for a heavy, heavy front squat. It really forced me to get my elbows up and keep my torso upright. But I really want to feel the heavy weight move. Whew. It's a lot of work. The bands make it just, just make it, I don't want to say easy because you're still straining against weight. It allows me to just squat a little bit higher so I can come up out of that squat. That's a difference maker for, for, for anything in life. Be able to pass that the hardest point and get to the next point and you're gonna come right up. So I'll go into a, a back squat. And what this does um, is it helps me feel heavy weight in the right positions. If I were to go for um, a heavy weight like this, I'd probably my form would be um, slightly off because I've been maxing out pretty much every day on the front squat or back squat. So now I'm going to a heavy back squat single. There you go. So try these, and you're gonna have to play with the, the setup. Right here, this works pretty good. We actually um, use them on our monoliths where the bar hangs, where the, uh, these straps hang underneath. Just be creative with your training. Make sure you're safe when you do these. Make sure you have a spotter if you're going super heavy. 
And for me, I like to work up to a heavy weight, like into a good single, and then I throw the bands on. So I don't start with this weight. I make sure the bands are gonna do their part too. Um, so I wanna make sure I challenge my body enough and use utilize enough weight to get the most out of these bands. So there you go, Technique Tuesday, um, reverse bands. They're also fun for your clients. If they're gonna be able to overload the body. So, I mean, just imagine that, throwing a bunch of weight in there and feeling strong, that's what it's about. So anything that you can build up confidence with, I'm all for it. So right here, bands is another fun way to get stronger. There you go, guys.